Caesars was one of the biggest casino companies in the world. And one of the reasons that it became so big was that former Harvard Business School professor uh, Gary Loveman had ideas uh, about how to attract more customers to a service-oriented business like a casino. Uh, independently, both TPG and Apollo approached uh, Gary about uh, potentially taking Caesars private. Uh, they agreed to work together. It was around a $30 billion deal, debt included, making it one of the largest buyouts of all time. And then unfortunately, between when they struck the deal in December of 2006 and the time that the deal closed uh, in January of 2008, you know, the markets began to crack. When September came, uh, basically all that casino business uh, dried up. So basically every assumption that they had made for the deal didn't work out. Now they knew they pretty early were, were going to be in trouble which is when uh, Mark Rowan at Apollo uh, just sort of uh, went hog wild. Uh, he engaged in more than 50 different transactions over the course uh, uh, from 2000, end of 2008 until uh, well into 2014 uh, designed to create equity value or to retain equity value or not lose their entire six billion dollar uh, investment. Well, now they're in bankruptcy. So all that Mark uh, did ended up causing Apollo and TPG to lose about 80% of their original uh, combined $6 billion investment. A lot of the creditors are beyond angry. Uh, they want more. A lot of their debt is tra trading at pennies on the dollar. An examiner has been appointed. The examiner will probably take another six months to go through all the documents, look at all the transactions, and that report will probably be used to decide whether or not all of what Apollo and TPG did was quote unquote you know, legal and above board, as of course they argue it was, uh, or whether it was what's called a fraudulent conveyance where they kind of illegally took value from one uh, a company and one group of creditors and gave it to another. So it's unprecedented on, on many levels. It's a very big a bankruptcy, it's a very public bankruptcy that I think could lead to significant changes in the way private equity firms handle companies uh, that look like they're in distress early on and, and what they should do about it.